Welcome back to the channel. Uh, on today's episode, we're going to start a new series. This time, we're going to be detailing um, my current program. So basically, I'm going to walk you guys through each session and I'll tell you guys about why I chose a certain exercise, um, my cues, and basically the thought process that's involved in putting these into my program. First things first, I hope you guys like the new setup. Um, <laughs> I spent the past week online shopping, cheap stuff here. So we have some pretty decent lights. Um, okay, game. So first exercise we did today was a machine press. So the machine we're using here is the one in Iron Supply. It's basically a repli replica of the Nautilus chest press. Um, so I put it first in my program because that will be uh, basically my the exercise that I want to progress on the most. So that could have been a bench press or a um, like a barbell incline press. Doesn't really matter uh, for me personally whether it's a free weight exercise or a machine. Uh, what matters to me, at least in this specific push day, is that um, I want to get stronger in this first this specific first exercise which is the again the nautilus replica chest press for this i'm doing two top sets and one back off set so for the top sets that will be um you know what i'll just clear this up ahead before you guys get confused later on um so what i mean by a top set would be um a set taken to around zero to one rir so that's zero to one rep uh, basically either failure or one rep away from failure so that's that's a top set for me um, I'm a bit more relaxed now in terms of let's say the amount of weight used and the specific rep range so for me as long as it's somewhere between like 6 to 12 if I take it to failure I will call that the top set sometimes um, if I feel strong Maybe I'll go somewhere around the 6 to 8 rep range uh, on some days when I feel like maybe my joints aren't feeling so good. That's when I'll go somewhere around the 12 to 15 reps. Alright, so I do uh, 1 to 2 top sets. Today I did 2 top sets and I did 1 back off set. So for my cues for this, basically, you just, similar to like any other pressing movement, you just want to make sure it's aligned. So when you do your press, ah, I guess you'll just see it in the video, yeah. So um, you just want to keep it aligned, making sure it's hitting your pec fibers. Um, and also making sure my forearms are, well, my forearms are parallel to uh, the, the, the movement, okay? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense, yes. Um, so yeah, just making sure I hit my chest um, and get stronger on that specific exercise. So the second exercise we did today was a uh, seated cable fly. So same thing, making sure you're lining up the resistance with the pec fibers that you want. So you could be doing this as an incline, you could be doing this like a bit of a decline for your lower pecs. Um, you could also just do like a straight. So what I did today was just a straight uh, seated cable fly. So the reason I used a cable fly um, is because I do want that extra adduction in there, okay? So my, I wouldn't call it an issue, but for most uh, chest pressing movements, uh, let's say you're using a barbell, you're pretty much stuck. Let's say a barbell or a Smith machine, yeah? Um, you're going straight, straight up there. You're not getting much adduction. So what I want from this cable fly is to get all the way in there okay and then we go slow on the eccentric um, basically the same thing with all my exercises i try to keep the eccentrics and if i'm gonna put a pause um, i'm gonna keep those somewhat consistent as much as possible okay so if you're wondering why i'm doing this seated i could be doing these standing uh, maybe like a bent over cable fly or like a cable crossover like most people would do 
Um, the reason I'm doing this on a bench is to keep myself stable. So I want to stay uh, as stable as possible, keeping the movement as consistent as I can. So I think that makes sense. It's a it's an isolation work, uh, isolation exercise, but it's it's a bit early on, I guess. Uh, so you could probably also consider this as a somewhat of a pre fatigue coming into the next exercises. So the reason I'm doing a something like this, na medyo parang pre fatigue siya, um, is because I want to surprisingly lower the loads for the next exercises. Um, that, that, that's just because I'm, I'm trying to keep myself away from injury or any potential injury there. So what I'm trying to do is, you know what, let's try to get these pecs tired. So coming into the next ex exercises, we lower the load and that hopefully that should um, reduce the injury risk by just a little bit. Um, and this is based on my experience that for pressing movements, I do find myself to be more prone to injuries once I go on the heavier side. In terms of sets, what I did today was about two to three top sets. So again, I'm not too strict in terms of basically how many sets I'm doing. Um, two to three, I mean, it's a, it's a range. Um, in terms of reps, it's usually going to be around the 10 to 15, maybe even 20 reps. Um, again, controlled eccentrics pauses, making sure the execution is on point. And yeah, that's about it. So after that, we move on to the third exercise, which was a dumbbell uh, high incline press. So that, again, this is a push day. It's not just a chest day. So we did push today. Uh, again, the third exercise would be a high incline press. So the reason I chose a high incline press instead of, let's say, um, a barbell overhead press or let's say like a an upright bench na uh, shoulder press is because uh, I do prefer just again the stability of the high incline. Um, I also like it because it doesn't hit my like it doesn't hurt my shoulder as much. It's much more comfortable, and I do think I progress better um, just because of the long longevity aspect of it. Okay. So high incline press, it's gonna hit your delts for sure. It's also gonna hit your upper pecs, which for me personally is a something I consider a weakness. Um, probably not that obvious, but like when I cut, especially during like during deep into my prep, I always see my chest fade, especially um, the upper uh, the upper pecs. So yeah, we're doing dumbbell high incline presses. That would be for me three counts like a three count eccentric uh, followed by a quick pause so that's gonna go like one two three pause and press um, so yeah again fairly consistent execution um, from rep to rep set to set making sure everything I do is the same so you'll be hearing this a lot I think like on all of these videos in this series um, a lot a lot a lot a lot of talk about maintaining the same execution. Okay, um, so for that high incline press, I think I did about two to three top sets. Um, so for me, that's um, yeah, two to three top sets and about possibly zero to one back off set. So again, just a back off set. Um, I didn't do that today because I was feeling a little bit stronger today. Um, so what we did was basically just three almost straight sets. I think we did like 11, 10, 10, something like that. Um, wasn't really like, a, it was closer to like the one RIRs today. But you know what, I don't really mind. This is pretty much the first week of the program. So I'm not really pushing myself to failure. Um, keeping it a bit chill, somewhat conservative, especially on exercises that personally don't feel as safe so again it's stable as it is but for me i um i'm a bit more prone to shoulder injuries so i try to keep that just a little bit more conservative for the fourth exercise what we did was a smith machine 45 degree reverse banded um chest press 
It's a bit of a mouthful, but yes. Um, banded Smith Machine 45 degree incline press. Uh, so my reasoning for this was, again, because my, for me, uh, my upper pecs are a little bit lagging. I'm trying to do my best to make those grow. Um, of course, well, my entire upper body is a bit lagging, at least compared to my legs. So, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to, trying to get a fair amount of work done, especially in my upper body, especially my chest. All right? So we did that banded, um, uh, sorry, reverse banded. So if you're wondering why I did them reverse banded, um, that's because, again, reducing the strain on my shoulders, especially as we get lower here. Um, so it's going to be, obviously, a lot on my upper chest. It's also going to be slightly more on my triceps, especially because it does get lighter at the bottom and therefore heavier at the top all right so for me it's somewhat safer um, hurts my shoulders less that's for sure especially as the fourth exercise uh, if i'm doing it somewhere around the first to maybe the second to maybe even the third usually i don't mind like it, it, it doesn't bother me but because it might you know it might potentially just cause some issues um, yeah I'm trying to be a bit conservative with that so in terms of well execution same thing um, this time again you want your uh, what you call this because my Smith machine is linear what I'm trying to do here is to keep my forearms um, parallel to gravity right so we're gonna just making sure every rep goes down this way it's not um, you're not pushing down like here um, that's gonna be pretty fucked up for your shoulders for your wrists so we're just trying to keep it aligned as much as possible um, and of course again consistent on the eccentrics there somewhat explosive up top just making sure we get a full range of motion but again it's an assisted range of motion here because of the reverse band so for this we did um, two sets uh, yeah I think we did two did I do two? No, I think I just did... I did one top set here, so my numbers here would be one to two top sets and one to two back off sets. So I'm not doing too much of this. Um, of course, this is, again, the fourth exercise. Uh, and all of these exercises have hit my chest. Uh, let's say the high incline press would have still hit my chest indirectly or directly, but not as much. So this is the fourth exercise that is targeting my chest. So I'm keeping it, um, you know, keeping it safe. We'll do, we did like one top set and one back offset. So this would have been this time somewhere around the 10 to 12, maybe 10 to 15 rep range. Again, I'm trying to keep myself away from going too heavy at this point in the session. Okay, so the fifth exercise, we move on to our uh, accessory movements. So for this, we did what we call a low incline cable lateral raise or a... yeah that's pretty much it low incline cable lateral raise for this we're using the daisy chains um, if you're wondering where I got these these were on Lazada you can probably search yoga straps or maybe rock climbing straps something like that uh, they'll ship from China but again they're Pretty safe. I think it's pretty consistent quality across the board. So if you're looking for something to amp up your workouts, this is a good investment. Fucking gold. So if you can, just get some for yourself. You can do... Well, you'll see it in the next exercise too. But for this specific exercise, we did it uh, for lateral raises. So the reason I'm doing these low incline um, and where the cable is is because I just want to again align the load with the desired target muscle group so that would be my delts right so for this I'm not trying to keep my arms too straight um, but at the same time it's definitely not at the 90 degree angle so I'm trying to keep it somewhere in between there uh, shoulders out in front just a little bit making sure a good pause is there just because you know that uh, you, you kind of want to make sure that's consistent up top, okay? Um, yeah, so if you're... Um, 
kind of tired of dumbbell lateral raises as I am because I'm really fucking sick of dumbbell lateral raises. Um, been doing them for a year, so yeah, we're switching to mostly cables now. Wonderful resistance. Uh, feels much more stable than well. A standing lateral raise, of course, something like a chest supported dumbbell lateral raise is still great, but just you know, just because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sick of dumbbells for at least for my medial delts, uh, we're gonna try to do cables for a while. So, this one would be somewhere between the 15 to 20 rep range, uh, you know, not much, yeah, 15 to 20 rep range, maybe like three to four sets. Um, again, we're doing push at least for this half of the two-week microcycle. We're doing uh, push twice. I'm hitting delts twice. Same exercise, just about the same rep range for that. It's very good, at least for me. Uh, well, if you've tried it and you like it, then you might want to stick with it. So I'm, 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 I'm rolling with that. I found some momentum with those lateral raises. So I'll keep doing them. The last exercise here would be the cross cable push down. So same thing with the daisy chains. Um, oh, wait, let me just backtrack a little bit. So for the lateral raises, the reason I don't do them with both sides is just because I don't like it when they snag together. Um, I'm sure you've felt that before. Like if you're trying to do, yeah, if you're trying to do something of a similar nature where it goes across, you do tend to hit like you know the, the the balls on the handles or the handles themselves they might snag together so I prefer it this way on one stack um, two daisy chains split All right okay back to the last exercise here so we did a cross cable push down um, so again just maybe just for the cues first uh, I like to keep my shoulders down and just to like bend my torso just a little bit move back Again, just for a better alignment. Um, instead of like your regular push downs where you actually want to try to keep your elbows in, um, I keep them in a consistent spot here. So when you push down, again, it goes as a cross. Um, you'll definitely feel it like on your entire triceps. This is probably my favorite, uh, yeah, my favorite variation for triceps at the moment. So we're gonna do that maybe twice a week as well. Um, so for this, again, just moving back, slightly bent forward, aligning your torso with the, uh, the cables, right? And yeah, fixed position on the elbows, shoulders down, go for a push down, quick pause, uh, slowly on the way back up and down. So that's basically it. We did about, I do about two to four sets on this. Um, there's somewhere in between like the, I guess they're top sets, but for these top sets, they're not like the zero to one rep, uh, zero to one RIR top sets. They're closer to like zero to two, maybe even three. Um, so I'm not pushing too hard or at least when I'm pushing, I make sure um, I stop when, let's just say the technique gets a bit sketchy, right? Good, all right, so that is the last exercise, so. That was my push day explained. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you like this video, if you like this type of content, or if you have any comments regarding the new setup, which is pretty sick, uh, subscribe, leave a comment below. Um, and if you can, yeah, just leave a thumbs up over there, like the video. Okay, yun lang. <laughs> I'm out, dudes. Peace.